All right. So welcome, Gitar, and many, many congratulations on your current success of getting a new role, a very big role in Asia Pacific, as well as getting this fifty percent hike by following the modules, the learnings of the career acceleration, mastery, and leadership. So we would like to understand the story, as so many people are now wondering how fifty percent increment is possible. when we are sitting in covid people are losing the job or people are not getting the pay cut rather pay pay is being cut or the increments are not at that much how would you actually describe your success in terms of what will you attribute to uh my main uh, idea was to upskill myself during the time of covid and uh -huh. uh, then i looked at what can i do for upskilling so knowledge is one part but you need to have practical understanding of uh, things as to how uh, you work around in your surroundings how do you work in your work environment and that's where i was looking at something to improve my skill set and i came across your course uh, initially i was skeptical as to how what will happen because i never done anything like that and usually what happens is people tell a lot and doesn't follow through but then i took a chance because those these are the times when you can always take a chance because uh, not much is happening in terms of career or things are down and you feel sad so in covid when time was there at that point about it's almost a years time since uh, i have i joined career acceleration mastery and then i started learning then i looked at your resume thing which you gave i got my resume updated immediately and then slowly built on the skills part how do you develop network and all that i did so things which i i had known but you need to formalize that somebody needs to guide you that's where your course came into picture and i started following those steps so that's where it helped very nice so help us understand in terms of the career acceleration mastery that you follow what are the top 3 learnings that you could actually implement in your career so the first part was that uh, you need to be updated about what's happening in the surrounding for example uh, your resume you take a basic thing as a resume we follow the old standard but now the trend the things have changed so you need to be updated to that so one is keeping yourself updated second is uh, knowing connecting with people it's very important to connect with people develop network understand uh, uh, who are the people or how do you connect with your net we just assume that some connecting on linkedin is something which you connection but that's not connection talking to people Uh, understanding from especially people who are better than you or higher than you mm -hmm. uh, you need to develop understanding with them and do that work so that is something and most important have a clarity of thought as to what you want to do so Excellent. that's very critical as to okay i am here right now where do i want to go next where do i see myself in next few years so if you just understand that and be patient because if you have the skills and you know where you want to go and you update your skill you will go somehow down the line you will go there just be patient very nice wonderful and that's what we actually talk i mean nowadays we are not attending the master class but we started with the theme called take charge of the career because yeah. if you do not take charge somebody else play with you mm. and that's what i believe in that the clarity plays a very crucial role in this entire process and when you start relationship building that is how you achieve the most of the success Now help us understand how did you actually identify the opportunity because most of the people are not even receiving the call or anything is happening not even within the organization also they are getting struggle so how did you think that okay this should be my opportunity these are the people i need to reach to and how did you actually arrive there so this opportunity came up within the company it's an internal role but a different company within the company so uh when the opportunity came up uh, first thing was look at the jd so whether the skill mapping happens or not so i just looked at the skill set which is required now the question was i was handling a smaller region and this was a bigger region so i had spoken to you some time back saying that i gave up one opportunity like that thinking that i will not be capable or some okay. doubt was there yeah, so then i took this risk so i asked people i asked my senior should i approach for this and everybody was supportive so they said you should try there is nothing wrong in trying so then i applied for it and then there were a few interview rounds which went through and then got through that and then negotiations were done and then finally it got closed it was a long journey in the sense it took a lot of time 
but it happened so this is how we i came to know about it this wonderful wonderful and what has changed in you as a person after going through camp and i i understand that you had taken up the leadership as well so what was your experience through that yeah so one of the most important things is that it gives you a realization that you have the skills mm-hmm. but you need to do something more like in terms of say visualization or having clarity of thought or knowing how to go step by step those are the things which came across the course so um, what i would say is it's not that something i didn't know in the sense we have when you have worked in the career you will know these things it's just that you don't try to get somebody that's where a coach comes into picture he gets a skill out of you to or reminds you that this is to be done and these are simple things which needs to be implemented so that's where leadership and career acceleration mastery came into it gave a method to the madness so <laughs> so that method came into life because of this so basic understandings which was needed clarity that came through uh, cam especially the leadership part which was really helpful in getting that maturity in really thinking it was always there but it just honed that skill so honing of the skill was more important and this course kind of helps you in that wonderful so help us understand I mean, what are the two three things that you kind of uh, felt that the leadership could have help you in this entire transition period as well so uh, one is goal setting or goal uh, thing setting up your goals and doing that weekly monthly goal thing that is something become a routine and that helps you break down things much more easier mm-hmm. so uh, it helps you then focus on the now and then now what is to be done and what it is leading up to so the goal mm-hmm. setting worked uh, uh, helped a lot then interaction with your teams and understanding how people come and how various leadership levels communicate so your immediate boss tries to get information in a certain way your top boss needs information in a certain way your communication level has to be different with uh, different people different people yeah yeah and third was that uh, your leadership skills stand so what are your skill standards what happens is we try to become a leader or someone whom we see but it's not necessarily us so we need to understand our inherent skills that this is how i am as a person and then my leadership skill will go up or then i grow up and think i can't be somebody else i have to be myself and that is what this course kind of when you do the self evaluation and the thing it gives you an idea of who you are and what kind of a person you are and then you develop your skills on on that so that is what these major leadership Uh, points which i took up from the course excellent and has it help you in your uh, negotiation as well as uh, the things like uh, how to communicate with your ceo cxos and your stakeholders yes it has helped so now the communication or when they ask a question i know from what point of view they are coming from that is mm-hmm. more important my response then is tailored to what they are expecting so when they say x i understand now better that what do they mean by x or which angle are they looking so that clarity kind of comes in in communication uh, negotiations uh, cam came in to help a lot because i followed that negotiation part very uh, thing so step by step how it is to be done and it definitely helped so there were a lot of discussions and the clarity of thought was very clear as to uh, how this has to progress so that helped negotiation wonderful and so what would you say somebody who is looking for maybe a career acceleration mastery or maybe somebody is looking for the leadership what would you say to them see most importantly is when uh, one the course is worth taking like if you have apprehensions about it uh, especially the leadership one i really like because it was personal a uh, small group and we are still in touch like i when i got this i informed my group also about it saying that this is what happened and my group team member wanted to chat with me as to understand what is happened how did you do it so that interaction still happened so you come across people with different view points second is that uh, uh, you get insights which you otherwise will neglect so those insights are very important sometimes a third person needs to tell you you will not be because you are so much stuck in work you will not be able to uh, give that insight a third party gives you a better view, viewing of that 
inside. So that is where your leadership program will come in. You will get that clarity. And uh, implementation is the most critical part. You can learn everything in that day. But if you don't implement it, then uh, it's not uh, going to help in any way. So you can say that I learned and somebody can come back and say it didn't help. You have to reflect whether did you implement it correctly or not. Absolutely. And how do you see the role of a mentor or a coach in a mid-career mid per se? Now that you have gone through both the programs with me, how do you see the role of a mentor or a coach? It does help in the sense that what happens in mid-level careers is that uh, we get into routine stuff and we are so caught up in everything. There is work, there is family, there is financial pressures and all that. We don't understand uh, certain aspects or we are like blinded by all this. So sometimes a coach or a mentor or a third party is always helpful in just giving you an idea or a push. It's like they don't, they can't teach you the basic skills because you are way past that. They can tell you that how should you use that use skill that or skill. yeah, how do you move in which direction? That is where a coach or a mentor can come in. And it helps, especially if you feel stuck in your career. Because uh, you may be not doing it, doing the right things and just wondering that where will I get the breakthrough or the world is against me or all the bad luck is with me. But it may just be the case that you yourself haven't looked at things correctly. And that's where a mentor comes in. And how has been your overall experience in both the program per se? It's been really good. Community yeah, and everything. It's been really good. A lot of questions come in and a lot of clarity comes in thought process. Different viewpoints come in because when you are working in such a group, there are people of various diversity. Like in a sense, you may be 12 years, somebody is 20 years. You may be from one industry, somebody is from other industry. You are from sales, somebody is from production. So you see there are certain things in common and certain things which are different. So that diversity uh, kind of helps you to get a bigger picture. And of course, the points which come in through the course and how people uh, enact things. When I was in the leadership group, there were people who were like doing it step by step, very dedicatedly and doing things and they were seeing the results immediately. So you kind of get inspired by them. So that's how it helps. Wonderful. Very nice. And why do you see the, the role of a community which is kind of uh, has to together like you learned a lot from the community as well and the vice versa for them as well. So yeah. how do you see the role going forward for the mid-career? Uh, if, if, if I have to understand, you're asking me like how will a community work? So or community two, two things I'm asking. One is the when we are talking about as, a, as, a, as an individual in the mid-career professional, like we employ work in the silos, hmm. right? Instead of that, there's a community which is kind of going in the same way, following the same principle. That is number one. And while we are getting into the mid-career, we have a lot of other challenges as well. So how do you see that uh, mid-career has to evolve? What are the two or three steps that they need to take? Maybe. So what I have, my personal experience or personal encounters with people in mid-career has been that uh, yes, we they do work in silos in the sense that uh, we are very hesitant to communicate. Yeah, because uh, people uh, get scared or uh, they're fearful that they are less successful than the other person. And then they don't communicate. we feeling that, that getting that feeling of failure. So one thing is that in a community, you will overcome that fear of failure because you will realize that most of the people are sailing in the same boat. And then you can always share experience and grow. So when you have a community of similar people or people with the same thought process, then uh, it will surely, surely get you to one realization that you are not failing anywhere. You are just in a rut. And that rut is your choice to come out of it or not come out of it. And there are people to help you. And you just need to take that help. So such a community will surely help. Okay. And, and uh, do, you, do you also see that uh, mid-career per se, the roles are now evolving in the industry and uh, there is a more and more need for the leadership as well? 
Yes, uh, current scenario is kind of changing everything in the sense that uh, roles will be very different. And especially given the point that you may not go to office and you may have to sit remotely and work and still be able to drive things. So that is going to be a challenge for mid-career professionals, especially because they'll be expected to now bring in their knowledge or skill or level of understanding into the role while not uh, talking to or seeing anybody there and sitting remotely. That becomes a challenge and uh, that is something which we have to get used to or have to develop the skill sets for that to handle things. Uh, our sales is changing because people are not meeting us. Now we have to find out how to meet them. So that is an evolving thing which is happening right now. So things are changing. So you have to evolve. Change is the name of the game. Change is constant. So change is the constant. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And in that in that scenario when we are changing completely, I'm just asking from the industry leader perspective from you. Do you do you realize that a person needs to be more self-aware in the process compared to what it used to be in an office environment where everything is going with the same function, same thing and same routine kind of thing. Yes, you self-awareness is very critical now in the sense that you need to be aware of one, your strengths, your capabilities, uh, how you are going to enhance because you will now come, many of us will now encounter uh, isolation in terms of working space. Mm -hmm. And when you're working in isolation, self-awareness is very, very important because you could just get away with somebody else doing the work for you or you trying to get things done while cajoling them and trying to work around. That is not going to happen. Now you have to have processes in place as to how you're going to do it. So that is something which will evolve. So you have to be very self-aware as to what you can do and what you cannot do. And you have to be very clear about, I can progress in this way. Wonderful. And just the last question, uh, because you, you have transitioned from being a, maybe an individual contributor to a leadership role while handling the entire India. Now you are getting into the bigger role like an Asia specific, right? Now, uh, one thing which is, uh, which is uh, more critical for people to understand when they are looking for such kind of growth path, right? Which is, which they feel that it is not possible. What what would you suggest them uh, that how can they, somebody who is looking for such a growth path, how can they actually design that growth path for themselves? It's a tough one because uh, my role was such that my company was pretty happy or this company is very open to uh, yeah, but, people. But your role was such that I'm sure you had a lot of contribution into it. It is not just yeah, yeah. that they were happy just because you are no, there, no. right? <laughs> So I just I went through a full process of interview. There's external Absolutely. candidate and internal candidate. Wow. It was not that uh, it was Cake just internal off. candidate. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. it was not like that. So there were rounds of interview, and it was to one is of course you should know where you want to go. You should be ambitious. If you're not Absolutely. ambitious, then uh, you will not go. Second is uh, you should be aware of what's happening around you. And once you know where you want to go, then you should talk to people who are capable or who have done this. I spoke to a lot of people saying my seniors, my seniors in my earlier companies, within the company. I spoke to people outside India. I asked them, did a lot of research saying that, if okay, if I want to get in here, then what should I do? How should I prepare? What are the things which they look? When you are applying for such a role, what kind of response do people Expect, expect. You know, yeah, yes. in this kind of role. So that is something which I asked a lot of people. Even at the uh, at the point of like irritating them, I did ask them. So yeah, so that helped a lot. And that that's when you realize that uh, if you ask for help, people will help. So you may think that you are working isolation and nobody is taking care. But if you go genuinely, be genuine. And ask them, so this is what I want to learn. People will help. In India, outside India, anywhere people will help. Excellent. Excellent. And and the last one now. The last one I'm saying because uh, <laughs> I I understand that you have gone through now this ladders of uh, leadership, right? 
help me understand what is the criticality of a, a mentor and a coach at your position should it be an internal person you should be relying should it you should you be relying completely on your own intelligence or should it be somebody who can guide you from the third perspective if you frankly ask me it's a mixture of everything there is not like one solution for all but mm -hmm. yeah for example if i am to work in my domain mm -hmm. and in the industry then i need somebody from the industry to help me understand how regions work right. uh, but then if i am going as a leader i need to bring my own skill set like i am going into that position i need to have my own skill set so that is where my own intelligence and my own understanding that's by gaining knowledge by reading by Absolutely. listening and all that and when an external coach and mentor is to give a general perspective of how things overall work because i may be stuck in my own domain i mean yeah. my domain not may not be what is happening across it may be in isolation so those points somebody a third person needs to uh, help us out in and it's a combination of everything it's not that there is one way of doing it at different points you will require mentorship of different kinds and that is where you have to judge or decide on how to uh, go forward okay. so uh, can i say this that ultimately you will need to have certain mentorship in your life anyway yeah right, for your own personal reflection so that yes. you can you can be true to yourself whether you are doing or going on the right path or not definitely the functional perspective you will need a, a different uh, kind of a guidance and your skill perspective anyway you have to evolve if you want if you are ambitious to go to the next level that is yeah. what I, i i probably feel it excellent i think i'm really really happy for your growth kirtan and thank you very much for uh, coming on this and i hope that uh, we will, i was able to add value to you as well as uh, your career and i'm hoping to add value to the rest of the mid career leaders that are part of my community right now now we are 1200 plus people by the way just yeah. to let you know so <laughs> no, i see that uh, telegram group going and growing and growing <laughs> <laughs> so i i hope that all of them listen to your interview they learn from it and uh, probably take those actions which you have taken and become successful so uh, just to tell everybody that girdar is coming from a very niche industry this is not a generic industry getting there successful itself require a lot of uh, hard work lot of courage and lot of uh, efforts dedicated efforts for that and that is where the girdar is probably now a rock star to actually help us understand that yes this is what this is the way we need to probably proceed in that particular organization and yeah, i am very very honored and proud to have you guys because see ever since i started career acceleration mastery last year so 2019 onwards i think i have been very fortunate to have those people who are driven who want to take charge and they have taken the efforts even though see as a coach i can give you the guidance but if you are not taking action nothing is going to work for you yeah that is that is very clear so that is what i understand that you guys were very particular about taking action especially the leadership group were very much focus about it and i'm very happy that lot of people in the leadership group have got lot of uh, breakthroughs in the career acceleration mastery so i'm really really happy for you and god bless you and uh, wish you all the best in your new role as well thank you i'm the dog stars are too big a word <laughs> just going <laughs> in my career so yeah yeah okay thanks a lot thank so thank for all your help and uh, we'll keep in touch yes thank you very much kitan